All right, happy Friday, church family. You know, the past few weeks we have been highlighting different things that, that God is doing in and through our church family, even during this COVID season. And so today we get to hear from a good friend of Redemption Hill, uh, Elliot Grudel. You know, eight years ago, uh, Elliot started a, a ministry that's called Leaders Collective. And the Leaders Collective serves the larger church through cultivating healthy pastors and healthy church planters. Uh, it's truly an, an overlooked and utterly undervalued arena in the church today. You know, pastors and church planters are leaving the ministry at high, high, high rates. And it's imperative if there are going to be healthy churches for future generations that we need to pay attention then to cultivating healthy pastors and healthy church planters. So we've had the privilege of working with the Leaders Collective ever since they began. And this week we had the privilege of having another cohort, another group of church planters come to Richmond and spend a few days during the week with us, with the Redemption Hill staff team. And we were able to mentor and encourage these planters where they are and in what they're doing and the challenges they're facing. Now we do this every single year. And then throughout the year, we connect with these church planters where they are with what they're going through and how we can help. And I want you to know that we very much consider ourselves a part of their journey. You know, over the time of this partnership, we've been able to pour into and mentor over 20 church planters, a handful of whom have actually launched their churches during the COVID season. So I want you to know that this is one of the most exciting things that we get to do throughout the year. Our staff and elders look forward to this throughout the entire calendar year. We love connecting with other pastors, connecting with other church planters, and making ourselves available to them to help them and to serve them in any way that we can. So I want Elliot to jump in right here and let you know a little bit more about our history with Leaders Collective and what God is doing through the ministry. Hey, Redemption Hill. My name is Elliot Grudem, and I work with an organization called Leaders Collective. We help the church by serving her leaders and primarily we do that by starting and leading groups of pastors and of church planters that help them think about kind of gaining the the character and skill that's required to do the work God's called them to do over the long haul. We have a long meaningful relationship with Redemption Hill really that that has been ever since we started as an organization eight years ago. Eight years ago, uh, you sent your pastor, Robert Green, to be part of our very first pastor group. And though that group formally ended six years ago, uh, the relationships in that group with me, Robert, and four other pastors continue to this day. We, we have a deep friendship that primarily finds expression through uh, providing for one another that mutual encouragement that Hebrews 3 tells us is absolutely essential to our spiritual vitality. In addition, three years ago, you sent Rayshawn Graves through our church planter group, and we got to work with Rayshawn as, as he was preparing uh, to replant West End Baptist Church in Henrico. And then we were with you this week. We brought a group of church planters to, to spend time with, uh, with your staff team at the building uh, this last week and really learn not just about the church, but learn from the team about how to do ministry. It was a wonderful time, tremendously practical, tremendously helpful. Uh, the reports back from the planters uh, were just absolutely, uh, were wonderful. It was just a, it's just a really wonderfully encouraging time uh, for them uh, to be with your staff team. And, and really it, it gives expression or it's a small portion of what St. Paul calls a gospel partnership in Philippians 1. As a matter of fact, over the last couple of years, we have partnered together to see 20 different churches planted across the eastern half of the United States. And I mean the, I mean the we and the partner, in a, I mean that in a really meaningful way. Again, it's that gospel partnership that Paul talks about in Philippians 1. We, we each have this shared commitment to the same goal, to see the gospel advance through the planting of churches. And as part of that shared commitment, we each do our part. We create and facilitate the groups of planters, and then you support our work financially and also encourage your staff to both teach and continue to coach these planters as they continue on their journey to see the gospel advanced. And the cool part about it, like every partnership in the gospel is 
that we each kind of do this small little part and God takes our little parts, puts them together and does something absolutely fantastic with it. Again, he has allowed us together to work, to partner, uh, to see 20 churches planted in the last couple of years. Uh, what a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift that is uh, from God to us. So thank you for hosting us this week, but even more, thank you for uh, continuing in this long-term gospel partnership with us uh, to see the gospel advance through Jesus Church. All right, Redemption Hill, I love you. I know that this season is awkward. Uh, I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating to, to us as well. I miss gathering to gather with you as a family every week, but this season is going to come to an end. Uh, I'm not sure when, but until then, friends, let's not grow weary in seeking to find ways to encourage one another in the gospel, lest our hearts grow cold and hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. This Sunday, we'll be picking back up again in 1 Samuel chapter 20. So take some time, read it, pray, prepare yourself for our time together Sunday morning. Some of us will see each other in person. For the rest, we'll be online. I look forward to being with you then and opening up God's Word. All right, guys. Love you.